Atrial fibrillation is one of the most common and most important abnormal heart rhythms you'll ever encounter on an ECG. And there's one phrase that defines it better than anything else. Irregularly irregular. Not fast, not slow, not just uneven, but completely unpredictable. But why does atrial fibrillation look this way? To understand that, we need to look at what's happening inside the heart. In a normal heart rhythm, electrical activity begins in a single organized location, the sinoatrial node. This signal spreads smoothly across the atria, producing a clean, distinct P wave, then travels through the AV node and down into the ventricles, resulting in a coordinated heartbeat. That is a normal sinus rhythm, order, timing, and predictability. Now contrast that with atrial fibrillation. In atrial fibrillation, the atria lose all electrical discipline. Instead of one organized impulse, hundreds of chaotic electrical signals fire simultaneously throughout the atrial tissue. The atria are no longer contracting, they are quivering. Because these impulses bombard the AV node in a completely random fashion, only some signals get through. And the ones that do? They reach the ventricles at unpredictable intervals. This randomness is exactly what produces the classic irregularly irregular ventricular rhythm. When you look at the ECG, you'll notice something immediately. There is no repeating pattern to the RR intervals. One beat may come quickly, the next may be delayed, and the next may arrive unexpectedly early. There is no rhythm to the rhythm. The ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation is often rapid, commonly ranging from 90 to 170 beats per minute, though it can be slower or faster depending on AV nodal conduction and medications. Now let's focus on the QRS complexes. In most cases of atrial fibrillation, the QRS complexes are narrow, measuring less than 120 milliseconds. This tells us that despite the chaos in the atria, ventricular depolarization is still occurring through the normal conduction pathways. That's an important point. Atrial fibrillation is primarily a supraventricular rhythm meaning the problem originates above the ventricles. Of course, there are exceptions. If the patient has a bundle branch block or conduction through an aberrant pathway, the QRS complexes may appear wide. But for simplicity, and in the majority of cases, atrial fibrillation presents with narrow QRS complexes. Now look closely between those QRS complexes. Instead of seeing clear, organized P waves, you may notice a shaky, wavy baseline. These are known as fibrillatory waves, or F waves. These tiny oscillations represent the disorganized electrical activity of the atria. They may be coarse and obvious, or so fine that the baseline simply looks chaotic. But either way, they reflect atrial electrical chaos. And this leads us to one of the most defining features of atrial fibrillation. There are no distinct P waves, no consistent P waves, no organized atrial depolarization, no clear atrial contraction. If you don't see P waves and the rhythm is completely irregular, you should immediately think of atrial fibrillation. So let's summarize what atrial fibrillation looks like on an ECG. Think of it as a checklist. One, irregularly irregular rhythm, no repeating pattern. Two, absence of distinct P waves. Three, possible fibrillatory or F waves on the baseline. Four, usually narrow QRS complexes, unless conduction abnormalities are present. Five, variable ventricular rate, often fast and unpredictable. If these features are present, the diagnosis becomes clear. Atrial fibrillation isn't just an ECG finding. It's a rhythm with major clinical consequences, from palpitations and heart failure to stroke risk. That's why recognizing it quickly and confidently on an ECG is such a critical skill. Once you truly understand the concept of irregularly irregular, atrial fibrillation becomes one of the easiest rhythms to spot because nothing else looks quite like it. If you found this explanation helpful, make sure to like the video and leave a comment below. We read your feedback closely and it directly influences future content. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.